Okay, so this is a very overdue video, but I really need to throw this together because on my live stream, I am asked this question almost every day, usually multiple times a day. Building inside of Destiny is a very complicated system, something that Destiny doesn't directly teach you how to do, so you need to rely on other people to help you along your way, and that's what today's video is going to be. This is the foundational level. This is going to be understanding how armor works inside of Destiny traditionally, and I'm going to go a step further and provide you guys some external tools like websites that'll help you push together your triple 100 builds and really get together that perfect build for you guys. This isn't going to help you with like, what should I be using on my fragments, my aspects, my subclass, those questions and what build you should be running on your hunter. I honestly cannot answer for you unless I can talk to you directly. There are so many variables there. So if you really want to know how to put together the perfect build, you're going to have to come talk to me. And the only place you can do that is the Discord link down in the description below, or you can swing by our live stream. We are there every weekday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern, teaching people how to do raids, understanding builds. So if you really want to know how to do this at a more in-depth level, come talk to me. I will gladly help you out. But for right now, we're going to talk about how armor works in Destiny. Graphic time! So this is the best way that I can break this down for you guys. So there are six main stats in this game, and you have to look at them as if they're on both teams. They're split down the middle. So I'm going to put a little line to help you understand this. So recovery, resilience, and mobility are basically in one column, where the other team is the remaining three with char, strength, discipline, and intellect. Uh, when you are aiming for a high stat roll armor, which is considered to be a 60 plus roll, uh, when you're throwing your triple 100 builds together, that's what you're aiming for. So we're going to go under the example that we have a 60 plus roll in front of us right now. So what that's going to do is it's going to split that roll about evenly across both columns. So if we have a 60 point roll, there's going to be about 30 points rolling in the upper column, which is the top three, your resilience, recovery and mobility. And then the remaining 30 points are going to be divided across the other three stats down below. Some of them could peak. Strength could eat up like all 30 of those points or so, right? So that's kind of how it works. So that's what you have to understand. That's how the armor works. So if you're aiming for like a triple 100 build for resilience, mobility and recovery, uh, that's not necessarily how Destiny works. And that's not a realistic goal. It could be very difficult if even you can do it in the first place. So normally what you should do is pick two main stats in realistically, it's usually the upper column and then one stat down below. So me personally, I am working on a hunter build. So as an example, if I want to put together a build, I want mobility, I want resilience, and I want my strength to be 100 for the build that I'm working on. So because I can get one high stat roll in the top and one in the bottom, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to aim to get as close to 30 points in the bottom for strength and as close to 30 points in the top for resilience as I possibly can. So you're going to ask yourself, what do I do about mobility? I want that at 102. Now there's a few ways you can do this. There's things that basically boost up these numbers. One of which is of course the extra mod that you can roll for a couple of points on each piece of the gear, including your class item. So there's 50 free points floating out there that you can apply to any of those options in your six stats right there. There are mods that you can use like powerful friends or radiant light, which can give you 20 points straight into strength or mobility. So you can apply and use those to help elevate your stats to a triple 100. Uh, even your fragments and stuff inside of your like solar 3.0 and void 3.0 classes those things can give you some points where they add 10 or take 10 points away here or there and those can help supplement your build as well so that's basically how you work towards putting these things together okay so i want to share with you an absolutely amazing tool when it comes down to putting together your builds it's called d2armorpicker.com there's a clickable link in the description below if you want to use it but this thing is an absolute asset and it's helped me so many times throwing these builds together. You have a lot of control and it actually takes all the armor that you have on your character and even in the vault and it runs all the possible combinations that you could possibly have to put out the highest numbers that you can. So for example, as you can see right here, I'm trying to use the eye of another world. You have a lot of freedom here, limitations and things that you want to use, what exotics you want to have equipped, uh, what kind of other things I may have that may boost up some of my stats like powerful friends, so on and so forth. So there's a lot of freedom here, even the fragments on your void, so on and so forth. I will go ahead and give you an example. As you can see, I wanted a triple 100 build into intellect, discipline, and recovery. I can do that. I can do that right now. And there's three possible combinations over here that I can do. And I can honestly just have these equipped too. So I can run three possible combinations. But you can see with these numbers right here, these are grayed out. But if I wanted to have a build put together where I could also get 40 mobility, I could do that too. So now I have 40 resilience, 40 mobility, and 100 in the other ones right here. Or if I wanted to run that back, I can even get one with 20 there. I could take some points here, get up to 30 there, and there's a lot of combinations. So sometimes there's some great armor things there that might just be sitting in your vault or on your character, combinations you haven't thought of, 
that this thing can throw together for you. Another thing that many people know that not everybody does is the fact that there is a mod slot that you can put on your ghost that can guarantee 10 points assigned to your armor every time it drops or you roll it somehow. So if I wanted to ensure at the bare minimum that I get 10 points in resilience or discipline or whichever one of the six main stats, I can guarantee that. This really helps when you're trying to get those peak rolls. So if I wanted like a 28 discipline and a 28 resilience roll, then I would apply that armor mod for resilience or discipline and increase my likelihood of getting that kind of a peak roll. So this is a huge asset, especially when you're rolling these things through the activities. Last but not least, and this is just a general that's going to help you every season and probably any future season to come out soon, as well as events like Solstice and other things, because they are experimenting as I'm making this video with Solstice right now, and I expect there to be more opportunities like this in the future through other basically reworked events. But right now, we have the freedom to work with Umbrals. Every season, you are able to do a seasonal activity, earn a seasonal material, and combine that with an umbral and focus the umbral into a specific set of gear so you can go into helmets gloves boots chest pieces so on and so forth and with the combination of that and the armor mod that i just described you can ensure consistent peaks in some of those values so i know that i have put together multiple 100 builds because of the umbral focusing it's a great tool and it's always accessible there's always a season going on and we always have this at our disposal this is the most consistent way of getting the highest stat roll gears that you can do do seasonal activity earn the seasonal material go ahead and take an umbral and focus it into the slot that you're doing to with your armor mod on and that's all it takes that's how you do it however there are opportunities as i said things are evolving within destiny like solstice where you can focus 20 points currently into one stat and then 10 into another. I know your instincts are gonna tell you, well, if I can really get good rolls up in the upper slat, why don't I take 10 into mobility and 20 into resilience? It's because now you've effectively locked in 20 points to that upper column, uh, excuse me, 30 points into that upper column, and you don't have any wiggle room. It, nothing else up there is gonna roll. You're not gonna get a peak into resilience. Your mobility wouldn't get any higher than 10 at that point, and the remaining 30 would just be randomized down below. You have no control or influence over down below. So the best thing you could possibly do in the case of Solstice is to put 20 up in like resilience and then put 10 down in the bottom one. And the reason you want to divide these is because you still have the chance that resilience could peak up to 30. You still have the chance that you could still get that 10 points or so into mobility and still 20 guaranteed in resilience. But now I have 10 points down below controlling a bare minimum of 10 into strength, intellect, or discipline. And now I have a better chance of peaking 20 points in one of those bottom stats with 20 guaranteed up top, and you just definitely have more control over it. So again, go against temptation. Do not invest all 30 of those points into the upper column or the bottom column. Keep them split, and I guarantee it you're going to find more success with this method. So that is what I would do for Solstice and any other future event that will allow you to invest 20 points into one and then the 10 from the armor mod on your ghost. That is what I recommend you to do. So I hope this video was useful. If you did find it valuable, consider leaving a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos like this. If you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Information's down in the description below or leave a comment on the board. Take care, everybody, and thanks for clicking on